Parkinson's disease is another one that affects a lot of people. Like Alzheimer's, it seems to be growing in number. Typically, when we look at Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, females end up more on the Alzheimer's side. They end up with disorders of thought and memory. Males make up the majority of Parkinson's cases because they have disorders of movement. And that comes to kind of how the brains are wired and how the differences are with males and females' brains. Parkinson's has, just like Alzheimer's, a 20-year period where you're developing the condition before you show those outward signs and symptoms. If you look at the Michael J. Fox Foundation, it's a great resource for early signs and symptoms of Parkinson's. But three of them that I want to give you now because and the reason to know these early signs and symptoms is because if you get assessed for these early on in that 20 year window, you can still make changes and decrease the likelihood of developing these conditions. So if you have bilateral shoulder pain, trouble with digestion or difficulty with smell, those are the first signs that show up in Parkinson's. Again, about 20, 15 to 20 years before you show that pill rolling tremor or that fascinating gait associated with it. The cool thing is there's a lot of things that can be done to help that. There's a group with the YMCA called PD Warriors, and I would check them out. Another thing, what are called brachiation exercises are great. Get back on the monkey bars as you're starting to degenerate because those hand over hand or brachiation exercises are great for that. And the third one is riding a bike. It's kind of like that hand over hand thing, but foot over foot. Those types of movements really seem to help decrease or slow the progression of that disease.